Cause you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. So, hey, this is gonna be a video about acids and bases, and it is sort of about all about acids and all about the bass. And uh, this is the notes I kind of gave you guys in class. I'm just gonna briefly go over it, so then you have more of a um, reminder of what I talked about. Um, a lot of times when we talk about acids and bases, it's really important to define what an acid and base is. And the definition I'm going to give you is just a very loose definition. It's not a complete definition because a lot of scientists have actually um, come up and developed their own different ways of defining acid. And the one that we're actually using isn't really fully the correct way, but it's a good lead up to that. So when you take higher level uh, chemistry, we'll look in and explore the actual definition of an acid. So what exactly is an acid for our sort of um, definition is an acid that has a proton which is your hydrogen ion attached to it. So you're going to see a lot of H's attached to another um, sort of your your anion which is the negative part of your compound. So an example of this is that you can see that HCl, HNO3, HBr and CH3COOH and I'm going to go over these ones. Hydrochloric acid, you can see that there's H and this is combined with chlorine which is negative so this combines into your hydrochloric acid which is your stomach acid. Nitric acid is when you have a nitrate combined um, bond it to a H. If you look at your complex ion chart NO3 is a nitrate uh, has a negative charge and H has a positive charge that's why they combine. Lastly and you have bromic acid which is bromide and um, this is combined with your hydrogen to make bromic acid. Last one we talk about is the acetic acid which you know that it is your vinegar and the reason why we write CH3COOH instead of say CH4, uh, C2H4O2 or something like that is because if you look on your polyatomic or complex iron, ion table CH3COO itself, it's an acetate ion and it has a negative charge. So um, this acetate ion combines with your H to form your acetic acid. And uh, this is the reason why we write this way instead of saying C2H4O2 because then you kind of get lost away. Is it an acetate, uh, acetate ion or not? Right? So this is when an acid, you notice that they all have hydrogens, 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 and hydrogens. That's sort of our, our definition of an acid. So what are some properties of acid? Well you might have even tried some of this already because you have tasted a lemon and you know lemons are sour right and vinegars are sour. That's a property of acid. Another property of acid is that it reacts with metal. If you ever watch my YouTube video about your uh, about zinc and hydrochloric acid mixed together, it's going to have going to undergo a single displacement reaction, which gives off a lot of hydrogen gas, which we can light on fire. Um, the last one we're going to talk about, or the last property, is that acids neutralize bases. If you think about acids and bases, are like kind of um, two opposing forces. It's, if you have very acidic, you have a lot of acids. If you have very basic, you have lots of base. But if they're completely the same amount of force, then they sort of cancel each other out. They neutralize each other. So acids neutralize bases. So those are your properties of acids. Well, what about bases then? How do we define a base? Bases, on the other hand, don't have your hydrogen sort of by itself. Instead of having a positive hydrogen ion, it actually has a negative hydroxide ions as you can see the OH. So where can you find this hydroxide? You probably have seen it on your polyatomic ion table because if you look for OH that's your hydroxide ion. So you can notice that because this is negative everything it combines to has to be positive. So here are some example, examples. NaOH, KOH, CaOH2 and the last one ammonia is a little bit different and um, the how we define ammonia, ammonia is actually the the more developed um, definition of a base, but don't worry too much about that for now. So if you look at this, you can see that all the hydroxides that are combined with it, and you can see they're last in listing because they're negative. So Na is positive, OH is negative, K is positive, OH is negative, CA is positive, two positive, that's why you need two of these OHs. And their name exactly the same, the first one stays the same, second one is hydroxide, and that's your base. So what are properties of bases? A little bit different instead of having taste sour it's going to have a bitter taste and also it's going to have a slippery 
um, soap or to touch so your soap is kind of basic that's a property of base and obviously it neutralizes acids because if acids can neutralize base base can neutralize acids as well so that's a pretty pretty overall view of your acids and bases and hopefully um, you can sort of gain some understanding from this so hopefully uh, you enjoy this video so I'll see you next time